Hey everyone, happy holidays, happy 2024. Thank you all so much for being unbelievable supporters of this channel. I cannot believe how much it's grown since we started this and the pandemic is a fun thing to do. So happy holidays, everyone. As a special gift, I wanna do a video today, uh, well, addressing a issue that's we're all having if you're a Star Wars collector heading into 2024 here, the fact that a figure that is four years old is now still peg warming, and that's Lando Calrissian in several scales. So what's up with the Lando system? Why doesn't anyone like poor Lando? All right, I've actually done videos explaining the Lando system before and kind of why there is a pileup of figures, but we're now getting into like the fourth year of these figures being on shelf, so I think we need to talk about how to get rid of them at this point. What do we do? Well, before we look at that, let me recap the previous video addressing why perhaps Lando is not being bought as much. All right, so super quick. Yes, kids see themselves as heroes. They want to be a hero and they want to play with heroes toys that remind them of themselves. So kids are naturally going to be more attracted to a fantasy character that looks like them. Well, looking at the population, there's about 12, 15% black and 56%, 60% white. And that's kind of going to have the exact same effect on purchases. So your first purchase is going to be a hero that reminds you of you. If you're me and you like dinosaurs, you're gonna choose a hero that looks like a dinosaur. But for the most part, if you're a normal child, you will pick a hero of your same ethnicity and sex, gender, however you wanna say it, but one that reminds you of your identity. Let's put it that way. Now, it's great that there are, you know, say, black superheroes out there, but the reason that white superheroes sell more is be simply because there's just more white people in the United States. So it, it, it's, it comes to that. It has nothing to do with racism. It just has to do with, you know, you will buy your first choice. Your second purchase, well, we're still not to a, uh, a something. Now we're onto a villain. Your second purchase is always a villain. It's because the basic concept of action figure play is about conflict, which is why most two-packs pair a hero and a villain. You're getting your first and second purchase in one purchase. Your third purchase, are we still getting Lando? Nope, because now we're buying another villain because it adds to the conflict play and villains look cooler. So now there's two villains to fight. Your fourth pick, okay, now you're buying a fourth toy and I'm talking as a child, not a collector. Well, now you're going to get a sidekick. So sidekicks really were created so that a child could see themselves, they're more aspirational because they can be that teenager more than the adult. All right, so looking at Lando, he is neither a primary hero or a villain or really a sidekick, he's a secondary hero. And again, yes, he's black, so he's going to appeal as a primary purchase for about 15% of the public. But now that we've understood that issue, let's look at how clearance works. So when a toy goes on clearance, all the toys that share that master UPC barcode also go on clearance, what are called parent SKUs. So the parent SKU has all of the, of the individual child SKUs, which are characters like Skeletor. He's a child SKU of the parent line. So if the parent line goes on sale, all of the children's SKUs go on sale. So yeah, so if Mattel chose to put Motu Origins on sale, Skeletor and all the characters. Marvel Legends, on the other hand, is run very differently. It is actually, the parent SKUs are tied to a movie line. So Marvel Legends is part of a movie line. There's not just an evergreen Marvel Legends SKU, which means Hasbro has the ability to put Marvel Legends waves on clearance without affecting all Marvel Legends figures. So again, like I was mentioning with parent SKUs, for Marvel Legends, the parent SKU is the, like the content, like the new Captain America movie. So if all Captain America movie merchandise goes on clearance, that includes the Marvel Legends line versus it's something like Black Series is not tied to specific content. It just is a, its own master parent assortment. So if Black Series goes on sale, all Black Series figures goes on sale. And that is exactly how we can fix it. You have to change the parent skew. You have to break up Black Series and Vintage Series and now ship them, basically replace the master skew or tie it into a new master skew. Now, it seems like this is really simple. So why is there resistance to making this happen? If you change the SKU, you can put Lando's on clearance. The problem is it affects every retailer, everyone. 
and it affects the records, the sales records of that SKU, being able to say, oh yeah, you know, year on year, this assortment does this amount of sales. So that's why Lando doesn't get his SKU changed. The other thing we could do is we could gift all the Landos. You could buy them and give them to children or, you know, toys for tots. It is the holiday season. I'm just throwing it out there. That is a way to do it is if we collectors come together and manually purchase these. Either that or Hasbro has to change the master SKU number, which unfortunately, because these are not run the way Marvel Legends are run, there's, not, there's no other way to just clear out a single character in Star Wars assortments. So it's going to take some help. Either Hasbro's got to step up or fans can step up, which I know is an odd request. I'm not saying it. I'm just putting it out there. All right. I hope this video helped clarify what's going on with Lando and why we're now seeing four years of the same peg warmer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting this channel as long as everyone has. And happy holidays, everyone. Have a great 2024.